what is up warning start this off with warning federal law allows citizens to reproduce distribute or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion picture videotapes or video discs under certain circumstances without authorized at without authorization of the copyright holder this is called fair use do you understand this YouTube and is allowed for purposes of criticism news reporting teaching and parody which doesn't infringe on any of the copyright under title 17 USC section 107 because I'm getting sick and tired of my content being attacked what is good everybody I'm your boy fat Mike and today we're going to cover some video footage over these illegal immigrants being trafficked um, they're trying to make Ron DeSantis look bad when the Democrats have already been doing this far beyond what Ron DeSantis did <clears throat> so to start this video off, we got this little asshole, Chris Hernandez. Let me back it up just a smidge so I can get his first name. Look, it, it depends now, and the same question is asked of Joe Biden. Joe Biden, in I believe, in 2024 would be 80. So going to keep clearly this a, a an small age windows difference. just to try to cut back um, on frame clipping between governor DeSantis and Donald Trump but it doesn't take anything Come anything on, away dude. from the fact that the the GOP universe still revolves around what is at the center of that universe and that is Donald Trump and really what his decision is ultimately ultimately going to be but what governor DeSantis Come has on, done in the I last two years uh, cannot be far. ignored as far as his um his influence charlie christ is who this little asshole is and the i've never seen if you have any questions i'll do never seen this guy heard of him or any of that before this video and he's running against Governor DeSantis. I don't even believe this guy's ever even been a governor, but yet we got people calling him governor before he's even ever been elected it, which is kind of stupid. But this guy really proves how far this left agenda has gone off the rails do my best to answer them but uh, we're still learning as as this thing's evolving we're still <clears throat> learning as this thing's evolving <laughs> so our first question comes to us from emma with wink news wink morning emma news what the fuck kind of name is that you might be muted emma excuse me uh could you just talk about the human element to this as well yeah well you know it, it's appalling uh, i mean you know how do you gather up people, uh, lure them from what we're hearing from, I think, the mayor of Martha's Vineyard uh, with lies uh, that they have a promise of jobs in Boston or whatever uh, and ship them off to someplace? And from news accounts I saw this morning, uh, when they landed, they didn't even know where they were. Uh, you know I have to say bullshit that they didn't know where they were going. I mean, this motherfucker goes as far to say that they haven't even been feeding these people making them sleep in their own filth basically type of <clears throat> type of living conditions they've said like they they want to try to claim us for defamation talking bad about them but literally the shit they make up about us is complete lies and the shit we got on them is them putting their own foot in their mouth. 
but yet that that's not what defamation is. Defamation is when you put a fucking bunch of lies out about somebody and try to make people believe that it's the truth. So, like, this guy is really, really out there with that. You know, it's just, it's it's so cold and so callous and so inhumane. It is unconscionable. Uh, it's just, it's vile. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> this guy is fucking unbelievable, Thank man. You. So... The shit they're claiming DeSantis did is the exact shit that they did. Biden admin resumes migrant flights to suburban New York. But if it's DeSantis that sends it, oh, that's just so bad. Thank you, Governor. Our next question comes from Lawrence at the Tampa Bay Times. Lawrence, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Governor, thanks. Um, DeSantis is doing this because uh, he's protesting Biden's immigration policies. What do you make of the governor, I mean, of the president's immigration policies and the situation at the border? Well, what I, what I do have an opinion on is what the governor is doing. And these kind of tactics, political tactics that he's utilizing. Look, if he had a problem with any kind of policy of the Biden administration, he can voice it. He doesn't have to engage innocent human beings in this way, in an inhumane fashion, to try to uh, make a political statement. He wants to say that shipping them on buses or planes, that that's inhumane i'll show you what inhumane is we are going to search up some of the conditions that people are put in during these human trafficking things that are coming from say i'm gonna google shit for the me like the mo the me uh, the mexican mafia on how they transport people i swear i've seen a photo <clears throat> of a lady they had her laid out long ways across the dash she was inside the dash panel and you want to call a nice comfy seat on a plane or a bus getting fed meals and shit is as humane as putting somebody up against the firewall in a dash panel with no food or water can't even fucking move to scratch and I wonder how many of them actually die getting transported that way. Because the picture I seen, luckily they found the lady alive. Let's just try to look at images and see what we pull up. Oh, that, that's a bunch of people they found dead from their transporting. Hold on, let me know what I'm going to try to see if I can pull up the clip of that lady in the dash. Yo, this guy is, like, up under... Try to move this out of the way a little bit. Okay, so imagine being stuck... Like, that looks like it's up in the back seat of, like, a SUV or something, and he's, like, tucked stuff, like, under the fucking seat. You know, that motherfucker ain't getting let out periodically for bathroom breaks. You know, that motherfucker ain't getting fed. And you want to say that what Ron DeSantis is doing is 
is inhumane? If you support fucking keeping the border open to allow the Mexican mafia to continue to do this shit to people, or anybody at that, that's fucking inhumane. Oh, wow. Is that humane? I don't think so. This motherfucker thought he could be the seat. <laughs> oh shit, that looked like a white guy too in this one. I don't even know if they're dead or alive in this. Kids found in car trunk at border checkpoint. Okay, so they was found at in a checkpoint. Yeah, like they're not going to check the fucking trunk. That looks like people are stuffed up. Oh, okay, so they're in like a hat back of the hatchback, and they got that little cover thing that goes over top to basically conceal the trunk. And they thought that they wouldn't open the trunk yet again. Like how fucking stupid. But yeah, yet again, that's not humane. <clears throat> Oh, wow, they had this one laying on the engine. Two of them. God, that's got to be hot. I don't care how many blankets you put in between somebody and that top of that engine. I guarantee you somebody got burned like a son of a bitch. Oh, wow, they're saying somebody got inside of one of these? <clears throat> wow. I mean, that's smarter than the fucking white dude, though, where he, his head was sticking all out and thought he could be part of the seat. They actually built, like, a cage around the guy so it would look more official but that is not humane you can't say a cushy flight on a plane or a greyhound at that is inhumane compared to this This is another... Oh, oh, dude! Ah! Why? I'd be like, screw that. I'll find another way. You know damn well this guy got burnt to shit laying on that engine like that. Where did he put his legs at? Because there ain't no way they drove with the hood up like that. And him halfway sticking out. <clears throat> okay, so a pickup truck, and then they had that cover on thing, and then they stuffed as many 
people into the bed of the truck thinking that they wouldn't open it up and look at it. But like I said, yeah, that, that other seat guy was way better than that. Oh, here's that lady. Here's that lady in the dash. Hold up. Let me... Try to make sure you can see this. Because I can't enlarge it on the browser itself, so I gotta do it this way. Yo, but. Like this here, that's the dash peeled off. She's up against the firewall for fuck's sake. She's up into the firewall. There's the front windshield of the vehicle right there. <clears throat> but this is that lady I was talking about. I guess they had her there and then they had two guys inside of the actual engine bay. And I guess they had this guy built into the seat somewhat. <laughs> All into the same ride. The links these people will go to. But that is the dash panel right there. Like, what I want to know is how the hell did you put it back on and was it functional completely? I wonder how long they even had people riding in it like that. Like, but damn, yo, like. Two people. Two people in the hood, in the engine bay, and then her right <clears throat> on the other side of the firewall. You, you can't say that what Ron DeSantis is doing is inhumane. If any of the illegal immigrants don't know where they're going, it's the ones that's been shipped around by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris not Ron DeSantis and if they're not getting fed that's fucking thanks again to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris it's been made very clear that they are feeding these people and they are going around asking them and whoever's volunteering to go on these is who goes unlike Joe which is just gonna shove them on there and that's it Unlike these places, okay, Ron DeSantis has sent these people to sanctuary, well, states that call themselves sanctuary states. So if, <clears throat> it, like, like Martha's Vineyard, oh, we can't handle 50 people? What kind of sanctuary town or city are you then if you can't help out 50 fucking people don't call yourself a sanctuary city because you can't take on any of these people that they're sending to you but no you would rather traffic them to non-sanctuary states and cities and just kick them out randomly just drop them off and dip that's the more inhumane shit. So these people really need to own up to their own shit. Because everything that they're calling somebody else out for, they're really hypocritically talking about themselves.
because that's what they're actually doing. So let's go see what more Charlie Crist has to lie about. Put that back down. Um, you know, there, there are appropriate ways to respond to things you disagree with and inappropriate ways. This is the inappropriate way to do it. I mean, if he has a problem, he can voice it. He's got a pretty good, uh, you know, sounding board that he can utilize, um, you know, and to do it in this way is, it's appalling. It's absolutely appalling. It's beneath the office of governor of Florida. <laughs> Thank you, governor. Our next question comes from Glenna at WPLG. Glenna, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Good morning. I, I want to. I actually was going to ask pretty much what Mr. Mower asked, but I want to sort of piggyback on that because the the actual process for asylum seekers or border crossers is to be interviewed and paroled and then taken to some shelter or processing on the way to replace uh, to a place where they will wait for their court process. So. So because they come to Florida, the governor has taken this opportunity, you know, to your point, to make a big deal out of taking them out of Florida. But but taking sort of the politics out of that, what is the appropriate measure for that process, especially now when there are record numbers of people crossing the borders? I mean, why are they going to keep them in Florida? Florida is not a sanctuary state. Get that through your fucking pea brain heads. Florida and Texas ain't sanctuary states. But yet, Joe Biden wants them to take on the majority of the people. You want to know why Joe Biden wants them to take on the majority of the people? Is so they can try to flip all these red states to blue states and give all these legal motherfuckers access to voting... And that's why they want the same day shit still, yet again. So they can get all these fake ballots put through so they can't be debated. That is the whole point that these Democrats are complaining about them being sent to blue states. They don't need more people in the blue states because they're already blue. They need to fill in the red states with people that will vote for them. Oh, we let you come in here. Oh, we gave you this. We gave you that. Now vote for us or we'll ship your ass back. Garrett fucking to you. Garrett fucking to you. Fuck this prick. Do not vote for this prick. Hopefully this motherfucker has a heart attack before the fucking election. We'll do it in a humane fashion. Glenna. I we'll do it in the humane fashion, Glenna. Even though we're the ones that are really transporting people by planes and not feeding them. And we're just dropping them off in non-sanctuary states and abandoning them there. I mean, this is inhumane. This is inappropriate. This is wrong. You know, this isn't right versus left. This is this is right versus wrong. <laughs> I think he really, really made a point there. This isn't right versus left. This is right versus wrong. That means to me that the whole Democratic Party is in the wrong. So it's like good versus evil and the left is completely wrong and incapable of thinking properly. But if it's not their way, oh, it's horrendous. Hypocrites. Absolute fucking hypocrites. And if the governor isn't smarter than this, we have a we have a real problem in the governor's mansion and it's Ron DeSantis. Uh, that's why I'm running against him. I didn't know he would stoop to this kind of level and this kind of inhumanity, uh, but here we are. And it's all the more reason that we need a change. 
Um, I, I just, you know, he's awful. Absolutely awful. Yeah, they, they only want people to stay in Florida so they can overthrow the majority because they're red states. That's purely their fucking plan. They want to let in all these people. Then they want to expedite their citizenships and... 90 some percent of them don't even like I honestly it's like 14 percent show up to their hearings the other 80 some percent they're no show the 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 migration system is completely screwed up in this country and they're abusing it but they would rather hire more IRS agents than we have probably soldiers because I know damn well for sure that they that 80 some thousand IRS agents is far more than what they have protecting the border but as a as a follow-up so what what would your suggestion to changes be what would be the more humane and appropriate process well, it would be not to lie to people, to lure them on an airplane to a place where they don't even know where they're going for a reason that they don't know why. Uh, you know, this is this is not how you treat people. You know, in the book of Matthew, it's funny how he can just easily get on there and say, oh, well, they, I, they shouldn't lie to people. Where have they lied to people? The only one lying and sending them places unknown is Joe Biden's administration. I mean, like, look. Yeah, this is the right one. Biden admin resumes migrant flights to suburban New York. This is when they said, oh, it's not late night flights, it's early morning. What's the fucking difference? Welcome to that Damn it. Fucking commercial, so I gotta mute that real quick. Back at the White House, a new response to video we showed you here of migrants arriving at an airport outside of New York City and a federal contractor talking about the secrecy of the operation. White House correspondent Peter Ducey with an update on the migrants being released into the U.S. Peter, good afternoon talking about the secrecy Good afternoon, and this afternoon I've been in touch with White House officials who have been watching this video that we've been running of these flights that are resettling migrants from the border to interior U.S. states. And what I'm hearing from this White House official, we have a quote here, there are no such thing as secret flights. The video footage your network has been running endlessly is from six months ago in August, which by the way, Jen and others in the administration addressed this then too. Not new or news. The Complete footage of un is of unaccompanied minors being transported. But Republicans are unsatisfied with that. Senator Rick Scott of Florida says, that's right, your tax dollars are being used to charter private flights in the middle of the night to take illegal aliens from the southern border to neighborhoods all across our nation. It's a disgusting misuse <laughs> of taxpayer money, and it must end now. The White House official... And speaking of taxpayer money, at least Ron DeSantis is open and honest about how much money his state needs to put into this shit to how much is coming out of tax money but Joe Biden doesn't want to admit that all the money he's fucking used for the same shit has been tax money too he didn't take it out of his own bank account that I spoke to is also insisting that any and all single men caught at the border are tracked with an electronic ankle monitoring bracelet or some sort of similar technology. But we do know that still tens of thousands are not reporting to their immigration hearings and that is according to the Department of Homeland Security. Why let them into the U.S. unsupervised in the first place? 
Well, again, we have a stringent uh, protocols and processes that we implement here. Uh, that includes uh, expelling uh, individuals who come in under Title 42, given we are still in a global pandemic, and includes uh, those who are, do not show up will be subject to the repercussions of that. So that is the policy we're implementing uh, from our Homeland Security Department. One thing that is certain, the president and vice president's warning to these migrants, do not come, is not being followed because these migrants keep coming. Trace. Indeed, they do keep coming. Peter Ducey, live force in the White House. Peter, thank you. Yeah, because they already said, oh, if you get separated from your families for breaking the law, we'll give you $400,000 per person and kid. Yeah, we'll make your family a quick millionaire. Bring you and your dozen children down here, and we'll give you a half a million for each. We don't even give our dead soldiers' families that much, but we'll give you it. Literally, like just like when they paid all those people's shit that those felt the the nonviolent felons, they went and offered to pay off whatever restitution they had left just so they could get more voters out there but they didn't pay them off without some stipulation in for them why would they pay you and just be like oh we don't care who you vote for no they paid them and told them you either vote for us or we're gonna change all of this says i think it's matthew 25 it says something to the effect of and it's and it's from christ you know what you do to the least among us you're doing to me and and that's what he's doing to the least among us people that don't have you know and now he wants to get biblical but yet he's supporting the party that actually is doing all of the shit that they're accusing ron DeSantis for when Ron DeSantis has went about it somewhat the same way, but he does more shit for them. They know more about where they're going. So everything that this piece of shit has accused Ron DeSantis of doing is everything that Joe Biden's people has done to these. <clears throat> no, uh, their freedom, their, their escaping oppression, um, they're trying to seek a better life and freedom. And see, they're trying to escape oppression to, and communism to which you're trying to offer them a way into our country, thinking that they're going to get all these old school freedoms and whatnot. But really, you just want to use them to twist it all around to a new communist society, which nobody fucking wants. And this is how he responds to it, uh, like they're cattle. I mean, it's just, it's reprehensible. Thank you, Glenna. Our next question, thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from Mike at CBS 12 West Palm. Good morning, Charlie. I've been talking with some immigration attorneys um, and they are pointing to a section of the U.S. Code that says it is a crime to transport undocumented aliens within the country. And so some of these immigration attorneys are suggesting that the Department of Justice should file a case against the state of Florida and Governor DeSantis for doing this. And I wonder if you would support that. Well, if you're going to support that, then you better fucking hold Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and AOC and all them other pieces of shit accountable for the same damn thing a matter of fact they should be twice as hard on them because they were the first ones to do it and it's because of them why the Mexican mafia is business is so good right now for them They should be held accountable a part of that because if it wasn't for the other situation, they wouldn't be bringing more people over. Shit was perfect when this asshole got in and now he destroyed it in less than half his term. Well, that sounds appropriate to me. 
uh, I mean, justice needs to be served here. I mean, he's treating them like they're in a socialist regime. Uh, it, it's, it's shocking uh, to see what he's doing. The only one treating anything like a social fucking regime is the Democratic Party that, oh, if it ain't our idea or if we said it, that's the only people that's okay. But, oh, you're allowed to be ridiculed, attacked, and criticized, and this and that, though, if you aren't part of our society and you're not for our agenda. That's what communism is, Charlie Crist think you all need to go back to fucking school uh and it's unjust how he's doing it uh you know he's a political animal that's crystal clear apparently and you're un- the political animal up here saying anything you can to defame ron DeSantis. fortunately he's using human beings to try to make political points uh, uh, like he's already a dictator. No, he's doing what Joe's already done. If they can do it, he can do it. And each state can govern themselves as their own country. I mean, this is kind of stuff I heard it was on radio this morning, maybe in South Florida. You know, this is kind of stuff Castro would do. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I'm very cautious, usually about you know <gasps> this is the kind of stuff castro would do i mean can you believe the shit out of this old fuck's mouth who i identify people with or compare them to but i'm hearing from you know uh hispanic radio in south florida uh phrasing it and characterizing it in this way uh and and they're probably right on point <laughs> Thank you, Governor. Last two questions here. Oh, uh, one first more from Dave Elias. Dave, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Uh, get, Charlie, if you could, um, we just talked to an immigration attorney who says this makes things much worse because many of these immigrants now aren't going to be able to get to their hearings because they're at Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, well. Okay, so if you had a trouble hearing that because of their echo uh reporter was asking about some shit saying like oh what are they going to do now with them being shipped out to martha's vineyard but their court case is in florida well just like probation parole and all that you can have that altered to wherever the hell you're at it doesn't have to stay in florida so i mean that's a simple solution but if you consider yourself one of these sanctuary states then do your job don't think that you can claim that you're some sanctuary state and not even take on one person You don't get to claim something that you're not. That's how I see shit. That's how I see through all this bullshit. They're nothing but hypocrites. And this one is most definitely part of the group. Still talking about Martha's Vineyard, and they only sent 50 people there. And they're supposed to be a sanctuary that doesn't even help out one person, not one. But yet they want the credibility that they do. That's not fair. I want to live in a fair, just society, and we got to get rid of of little pricks like this. That's why they're so out to take our guns because the Second Amendment was that when the government started doing things to harm its people, no matter what way they went, no matter what they did, if it was harming its citizens, it granted us the right to put them in check. 
And that's why they're so damn scared that conservatives have guns. The whole point of the Second Amendment was that if we ever had to fight our own government, not to mention we are our country's last line of defense as well. So if an invading force overthrew our government, we are the last chance to fix it. Well, that, that's a great point. I mean, he's not taking into account the human factor of these people that he has shipped up to Martha's Vineyard. I mean, it's, uh, it's not well thought out, obviously. It is inhumane, clearly. It is inappropriate, obviously. Uh, it's just dead wrong. I mean, you know, once again, Ron is wrong. And that's why we need to change. Um, and I'm not being political about that. I'm just being factual about it. You know, this is... Yeah, we really won't need to usher in dumbasses that literally turn our country towards a third world regime. But no, we got to stay away from capitalists that actually had our country for the first time ever independent. We didn't need shit from other countries like oil and the necessity, the major necessities. We had that here at home. We actually supported other countries that needed it, like the Ukraine and places like that, where Russia uses the shit to hold them out to make them bend to their will. But you can believe this little piece of shit all you want. But he and his people are not going to make life better for you. They try to tell you what you want to hear. And as soon as they get the tiniest bit of power, everything change. Just like Joe Biden slipped up and said, oh, I'm going to get rid of fossil fuels. And then, no, I ain't. I don't know where you got that from, but I didn't say it. And then as soon as he gets that shit day one, he shuts down all the oil in our country. But yet it's supposed to be some random crisis that's caused gas to be so high. Funny how that crisis started day one of his administration. This is what I see. This is what I'm witnessing. This is what the world is witnessing. Uh, and it's it's unimaginable. I mean, who is he? Who does he think he is? You know, this is uh, this is somebody that's uh, really not in control of his facilities, his faculties. And thank you, Governor. And last question here from Libby Dean with Channel Eight, Tampa. Morning, Charlie. All right, so we've seen other governors doing this as well, like Abbott in Texas, busing the, these migrants to other cities. Um, so if you were governor, what are specific solutions that you would propose that are completely different than these solutions that are being used currently? Well, I wouldn't ship them around like they're animals, like they're cattle. I would not do that. Uh, Ron DeSantis is willing to do that. And that's the difference. It's pretty... No, see, what this little prick would do is he'd let his fucking state get infiltrated by however many illegal immigrants that Joe wanted to ship there. And then when he has enough outnumber the Republican voters in that, then grant them all the right to citizenship so they can vote when in reality to do all that should take a matter of 10 years, not just 10 months. And... Uh, they should be able to prove that they know a lot about America, not just move here for the fuck of it. Just like every other country does, they put you through a test to see what you know about their country, and if you don't pass, then you don't get to come. Why should America be the only fucking country without a border? That's idiotic. But yet, oh, if America has a border, we're racist! But nobody else is? 
Get the fuck out of here. I'm so sick and tired of you backwards ass people. When is the cult going to pass out that punch? Be clear. I'm a humane person and I treat people like I want to be treated. You know, I always talk about the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. Such and I bullshit. say it many times as well that if Governor DeSantis ever knew the golden rule, he clearly has forgotten it. And this is the epitome of not going by the golden rule and doing unto others as you would have done unto you. Shove that biblical shit up your ass because it's not going to save you your old ass from the fiery pits of hell. I can promise you that, Charlie Crist. If, if I could do just have a follow-up question. So what would you have done with these migrants? Well, I wouldn't have shipped them on a plane. I wouldn't have lied to them. Uh, I would have kept them in Florida and treated them humanely uh, and, and given them comfort and make sure they were fed and nourished and, and treated like human beings. Yeah, they I would do the opposite of what fed and nourished and treated like human beings. They was given the option of where the fuck they wanted to go. If they didn't like the area that the bus was going, they didn't have to get on it. Did any of the immigrants get that option through Joe's fucking thing? No, they didn't. They was shipped on a fucking plane and just abandoned wherever they was dropped. And was they shipped to sanctuary states then? No, they was only shipped to red states. To red states. Let's fucking overflow the red states so we can just turn it blue. he's done. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Thanks, Governor. Turning it over to you for any final thoughts. Well, I, I think we've said it all. I mean, this is a despicable act. And I can't believe that the governor of my state so far uh, treats people like this. And that's why I think we need a change. Uh, that's why I'm glad we have an election coming soon because people deserve help. They deserve a humane governor. They deserve a governor who has a heart and really cares about uh, his or her fellow human beings. I do, he doesn't. Thank you, Governor Chris. With that, members of the media, we will let you all go. We appreciate it. We should all pray for the people. Mr. Chris, could I just ask you one more question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, on another note, what is your reaction to your running mate statement, you know, comparing her experience with working with children who have special needs to a dysfunctional legislature? We're dealing with a serious topic right now. Let's stay on this topic and, and continue to be serious. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Pray for these people. I'm going to pray that you rot in hell, you piece of crap scum. Absolute scum. Scum. Scum of the earth. Did you know that in Texas, rifles can be carried in public without a license? Whereas in Florida, no open carrying is allowed, except in unique situations. Oh, no, I paused the video. Why the hell are you playing? All right, well, that wraps it up for right now. I will make another video on this topic, depending on how long this goes on. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Help me grow the channel. The bigger I can get this, eventually the more upgrades I can make so I can vamp up the quality of this channel. So help me be able to do that. Um... Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I'm your boy Fat Mike, signing out. Deuces.